Hey peeps, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is gonna be a super fun one. I am gonna be showing you my whole strawberry collection and I feel like if you know what it means, you know what it means and if you don't, you don't. And I'll do a whole intro in just a minute but before I get into that, do you guys notice anything different? Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, so before we get into the rest of the video, let's address the elephant in the room, which is that I finally have the Big Butt Press Strawberry Print Jumpsuit. <laughs> Yes, I'm so excited. So I've been wanting to film this uh, strawberry collection video for a while, but I didn't have this jumpsuit and I just felt like my collection wasn't complete until I had this. Like I just felt like I was a fraud until I had this, you know what I mean? And I have this and I just feel complete now. I feel like I'm actually the strawberry queen now. I'm not just like pretending to be. So we'll get into that a little bit later, but yes, basically today's video, I'm just gonna be showing you all the strawberry items that I own. And if you're new here to my channel, you might be a little confused. You're like, what the heck are you talking about? A couple videos ago, or probably quite a few videos ago now, I like said that I'm obsessed with strawberries and that uh, nobody is calling me the strawberry queen and that I'm salty about it, which was like kind of a joke, but then people started calling me strawberry queen, which I guess is kind of what I wanted all along. So yeah, I've kind of self-titled myself as the strawberry queen. And I'm sure there's someone out there with a way bigger strawberry collection than I have, but you know what? People are calling me that, I'm gonna go with it. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through all my strawberry things and try to make this like a super fun and cute video. Some of the items are vintage and thrifted, so obviously I won't be able to tag those, but a good amount of these are not thrifted, so I can leave a link to either the exact item, if it's still available, or to the maker. Like a lot of the jewelry pieces are pretty much sold out, so I'll tag their Instagram on here, and then you can follow that person on Instagram, and then when they restock, you can get some of their new things. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into this freaking strawberry haul. So first item, obviously, is this jumpsuit. Now I'm gonna try to keep this story short. Basically, Big Bud Press had a collection come out, I think a year or two ago, where they used like this kind of like strawberry print, I think on t-shirts and pants. And then for their five year anniversary collection, which just came out last month, they released the jumpsuit. And as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. So the day that this launched, I literally was on their website. The moment that it came out, I put it in my cart. The minute it came out and within one minute, like of me checking out, like I had my payment information saved and everything, it sold out, it launched at eight o'clock. It was sold out by 801 and I was devastated. Like I seriously was like, heartbroken but i'm actually really proud of myself so i have post notifications turned on for big bud press people so the other day i get a post notification from them it's like big bud press posted to their story and i was like oh let me go check it out and then they were like hey y'all we're, we're secretly restocking some items from the fifth year anniversary collection because i guess what they do is they keep some extra pieces just in case someone has to do like an exchange or return and my heart fluttered i was like oh my gosh is this my moment and i swiped up and I shopped and they had the jumpsuit in stock in my size and I bought it and I'm so happy. I literally couldn't be happier. Isn't she stunning? Like, can we just appreciate for a second? Like, these jumpsuits are worth every penny. So this was $195, certainly not cheap whatsoever, but it was so worth it. I love strawberries and it just seriously like snatches you in at the waist. It just makes you feel so good. And the material is super comfortable. I just love everything about it. So needless to say, this is probably my favorite strawberry item, but there's a bunch more. So yeah, let me show the rest of that collection to you. So I am wearing some strawberry earrings. I've mentioned this on my channel before, but I have multiple pairs of strawberry earrings and they're all a little bit different and they're all special. So these ones are from Blush Daisy. I'm pretty sure most of you know who she is. If not, uh, go follow her because she's amazing. So these are glittery strawberry earrings. I mean, ugh. I love glitter, I love strawberries. These are pretty much my favorite pair. I do love the other pairs now, but these are my most recent pair and I think the most stunning because of the glitter. And then I actually was lucky enough to be able to snag the matching clip as well. And it's just the same thing, but it's one of these like kind of clippies. The only issue is I never wear clips. I actually have another strawberry clip I'm gonna show you, but my hair just doesn't look good with clips. And also my hair is just like so straight and so fine that they never end up really looking good on me. So I haven't been able to wear this sparkly clip yet and make it work, but it's a good addiction to the collection. You know, I could always wear it like that. <laughs> 
Next in the strawberry collection is this little strawberry purse. I actually bought this from a woman that I follow on Instagram. Her Instagram handle is called more than your average and she resells thrifted items. She has her own website. So I'll leave a link to her Instagram in the description box. I purchased this strawberry purse from her. As soon as she posted it, I knew that I needed it because I've been wanting a strawberry purse for a while. And a lot of them are for like kids or they're like super expensive ones that people are reselling from Dolls Kill. So yeah, I just thought this was such a cute little addition. I love little quirky purses like this and this looks really cute not with my jumpsuit but it looks cute with some of the t-shirts that I have so I love that next I have this cute little box that I got from Joann's so this is just kind of like a box for whatever uh for like I don't know office stuff and it's got strawberries and then blueberries on it as well I freaking love this box it was only three dollars and I've been debating going to buy another one just because I think they're so freaking cute and I just use this to store things for my Etsy shop and that also reminds me too uh, in every Etsy order I send out I send some free stickers and recently I have been sending out cute strawberry stickers so I just get like a big pack of strawberry stickers and send some free ones in each package. Here's a cute one that I love that has like these strawberries in a bowl. And then this one, which is just a regular schmegular strawberry, but they're so freaking cute. So I love these. They're technically, I guess, not part of my collection because I send them out to other people. And while I'm mentioning the stickers, I also have these cute little strawberry printed cards. These actually came in a big pack that I got from Joann's as well. I didn't even realize there were some strawberry printed ones in it. Uh, but there were so I just bought like a big box of cards to send thank you notes with all my Etsy orders And there happened to be some strawberry ones in there So I haven't sent any of these out yet just because I'm super stingy and obviously I love strawberries So I want to keep them for myself But like you can't really keep a card for yourself because what are you gonna do? Maybe if you're lucky you will get this as part of your Etsy order. We'll see <laughs> Next I've got some more strawberry accessories. So starting off with earrings I have this cute pair of strawberry studs. I got these from a brand called Shop Coco Molo based in Canada. They're adorable. I actually haven't worn these yet just because I do go for a bigger statement earring, but I need to wear these because I just feel like these are just super cute on the go little strawberries and they even have like a little bit of a sparkle to them, which I just noticed. So that's really fun. And then also from Coco Molo, I have this clip and it actually is still in the packaging because like I said, I just can't wear clips. My hair is so straight and so soft and so fine that it just slips out or it looks dumb because I don't have enough hair. So this is just like a little claw clip and it's super cute. I feel like this one actually might stick in my hair. I don't know why I haven't worn this one yet. I need to... If you watched my statement earring video, I showed these ones to you. These are from a brand called August Rivers. They're so cute. These ones are made of polymer clay. I love these ones because they've got a lot of like detail on the actual strawberry and on the leaves, which I think is really cute. And then another pair of earrings I have are these like little enamel ones. These I actually got on the beach in California from a girl called Shop Meg's Designs. She actually has an Etsy shop as well, so I'll leave that linked. But these ones are super cute, just like little dangly ones. And then I just have one last pair of strawberry earrings. Sadly, these ones are broken. They actually came broken, but I should be getting a replacement soon. So I don't remember the name of the brand that I bought these from, but I did buy them on Etsy. They are so cute. They're polymer clay and they have like the little strawberry flower on the top. The issue is like literally as I opened the box when I purchased them, they were broken. This one is still intact, although it's cracking where the earring holds on. The other one was like completely busted and broken. So luckily the woman is super nice and she's sending me some new ones. So I'd still recommend her shop. She's just sending me some new ones for free. So I just thought I would show these because they are still really cute. Okay, next I have this little handkerchief that I thrifted in my cottagecore video. And not gonna lie, I'm a little bit petty about this because I got so much hate for this. So when I thrifted this little handkerchief in that video, I said this is a super cute handkerchief and it has yellow little strawberries on them. And I got so many freaking comments of people being like, I'm, do you mean lemons? <laughs> LOL, yellow strawberries, what? Do you mean lemons? Question mark, question mark, question mark. LMFAO at yellow strawberries, dot, dot, dot. Do you mean lemons? Question mark, question mark. No, no, no. These are yellow strawberries, I swear. I, I literally got so many comments of people telling me I was stupid because these are lemons and no, they're freaking not. These have to be strawberries, I swear. Look at that. Look at that. 
I know that it doesn't make sense. I'm aware that it doesn't make sense, but lemons are more like lemon shaped and don't look like, I mean, maybe they're still lemons. So don't at me. You can think they're lemons if you want. I just wanted to clear the air and tell you that I'm not as stupid as you think I am and that I think these are super cute. And I'm sorry to be pissy about this. I, I really don't care. And I know that most of the people that commented that aren't actually subscribers. They're just people that are mad for whatever reason. But yeah, I actually do really like that handkerchief. And whether it's lemons or strawberries, it's cute and it's red. So I'm just gonna go with strawberries. All right, next I have some strawberry kitchen items. So I thrifted this in my cottage core video as well but this is just like one of those little half aprons and it's just really cute it's made out of like a 70s dish towel that's like red and orange and then it has like the ribbon tied across and it's so freaking cute like this is just oh it's so cute i don't really use it because when i cook i like to use the aprons that go up over you because that seems so much more practical than this but this is still cute honestly just to like wear over something like probably weird to wear out in public but it's just so cute i feel like it needs its moment in the spotlight. And then I actually have two different sets of reusable strawberry napkins. So these ones I actually thrifted on my own. They came in a pack of 12 from my savers and they're just like some really fun vintage strawberries over some like picnic print. And then if you saw my video where I unboxed that mystery box for my subscriber my super nice subscriber slash like friend we're like internet friends uh sent me this set of strawberry napkins so these ones are a little bit different these ones are like a little more cartoony and i think this one's actually cuter and then it has red stripes as well so i don't really have a use for reusable napkins i mentioned that a couple videos ago but i need to have like a strawberry themed dinner party and invite all you guys because i know you guys love strawberries too and yeah these are just like super fun for someday all Right, and then this is kind of random but I do have a bunch of different strawberry printed fabrics so I actually just thrifted this fabric this week and it's not exclusively strawberry but I thought I would include it so this is just like kind of like some fabric that was donated to the thrift store and it's got a whole bunch of different fruits on it including strawberries I haven't decided what I want to do with this yet uh, so if you have any suggestions, let me know down below. And then next, this was actually a little piece of fabric that was sent to me. And it's such a cute story. So my second cousin's aunt, so she's not related to me, but I've met her before. She's super sweet. She lives in Michigan and her name is Barb and she's just the nicest person. So she asked my second cousin to send her my address and she just sent me this piece of strawberry fabric, which I just thought was the nicest thing. And I don't have her phone number. So Barb, if you're watching this video, thank you so much for sending this to me. This is absolutely the cutest strawberry fabric I've ever seen. It looks like it's probably from the seventies. And again, I don't know what to do with it. I don't want to make a mask out of it because I want it to be something that I can use forever. And hopefully I won't have to wear a mask forever. So I'm thinking with this and then some of the other strawberry fabrics I have, I could like make some sort of patchwork something maybe like a patchwork tote bag or like a patchwork skirt or a pair of pants so I don't know what to do with this either but I freaking love this one I definitely think this is the best strawberry fabric that I have and then I've got this strawberry shortcake fabric uh, vintage strawberry shortcake I still have quite a bit of this left I did make some masks for my Etsy shop but I decided to cut it off because I just wanted to keep some of this fabric for myself um, if I ever figure out what to do with it, maybe like make some sort of dress or something, but I freaking love that one. That one's so cute. Great. Right, then we've got even more clothing items. You guys have seen this one many times, but this is my strawberry t-shirt from Big Bud Press. They re-released this one actually for the five year anniversary, but I purchased this one actually on Poshmark. I think, um, a couple months before that came out. I freaking love this one. It's just, ugh. This is just so freaking cute. I love it. And then I have another Big Bud Press strawberry t-shirt. I believe this actually launched with their original strawberry collection. And I did get this one on Depop as well. And this one's super cute. It's just like dark red with a little strawberry basket. I freaking love this. I don't know which one I love more between the two. I think this one just because it's a little bit more bright and fun. But I like that this one is going to be more easy to wear in the fall. So both super cute. Then I have these Kate Spade strawberry socks that I've actually never taken out of the package. I get so scared to wear like my nice slash fancy slash expensive socks, especially when they're white like this, because I don't want to just like destroy them. But like I mentioned, this is a pair of Kate Spade strawberry socks. So strawberry is like pink and sparkly and it's so cute. I actually got these on Poshmark 
and they were I think only like five or six dollars. Next I have this dress. It is a multi-fruit print but it does have strawberries in there. To be honest I've never worn this. I thrifted this like way back in the day of my channel. I actually thrifted this I think like last actually it wasn't that long ago I think this was in January I got this one from Savers it is a Lindy Bop dress and I don't know why I've never worn it I think it's because it's like a halter top dress so it's harder for me to style because I do uh, dress modestly so I'd have to wear something underneath it uh, but I think I'm gonna venture out and try to style it I don't know if it will fit me anymore uh, but we'll see I just, just like so cute it's got a bunch of different fruits including strawberries so maybe I'll have to wear this one ASAP because uh, I love it and it just hasn't had the moment that it deserves all right and then last but not least in my strawberry collection is this vintage strawberry shortcake print that I purchased off of eBay it was like seriously three dollars and it's just this cute little strawberry short cake print I freaking love it I haven't hung it up yet I keep forgetting to buy like a frame for it I would love to find some sort of like vintage strawberry frame so I need to start looking in the picture frames again at the thrift store but how cute is this it's just like strawberry shortcake pulling her dog in like a little wagon in front of the candy store I think that's super cute and actually the person that sent it to me sent me like another bonus little strawberry shortcake thing for free and it's just like a bunch of mini like wallet sized prints I guess of a similar picture I think it's her walking in front of the bakery so super cute I freaking love these again I just need to like find a place for them I guess but yeah I just think that's super fun and I just love to have strawberries all over my home so I need to get better at uh, not only wearing strawberries, but I guess decorating with them as well. All right guys, that is it. That's everything in my strawberry collection. I know I have more strawberry items, not even gonna lie, but this is just like what I could remember that I have. So I'm sure as soon as I finish filming this video, I'll see like some other strawberry thing like sitting next to my bed. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this was kind of like a more random video, but I really wanted to share this with you. And as soon as I got this jumpsuit in, I knew it was my time to rise up as a strawberry queen and show you guys my collection. But yeah, other than that, that's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys liked the most from this, what piece I have that you think is the cutest. And if you have any strawberry items or if you know anyone selling any, definitely leave links or recommendations in the comments. You guys know I'm always looking to to grow my strawberry collection. Please also give this video a thumbs up. It super helps out my channel. And if you wanna see how I style up these strawberry items or how I've styled them up in the past or future strawberry items that I acquire, make sure to follow me over on Instagram. The link to that will be in the description box. Uh, but yeah, other than that, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye.